गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सो येस्टरडे वी हैव डन विद ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एपी येस और नो वी हैव डन द क्वेश्चन नो एफ फाइव पॉइंट थ्री एक्सरसाइज वॉज कंप्लीट so ap chapter is all finished from ncert so today we need to start with a new chapter which is chapter number 6 triangles as usual waiting for 2 3 minutes for the students to enter and those who are here take care of your video mode it should be on see you see the physically we are not present in the school so by digital means by online you are present so whatever activity you are doing uh, consider it okay uh, it will be considered by all the teachers okay uh, just keep this in mind your internals are based on these online classes that you are coming in your attendance and everything will be noticed okay maintain these things in a very proper man manner ravindra sir good afternoon and good afternoon all the students who have joined now take out a new page start with triangles right chapter number 6 triangles date So after a minute, we are going to start with this chapter. Yeah, good afternoon so today uh, we are going to start with the chapter number 6 triangles in this no till now you have studied congruency now this year you are going to study similarity this year uh, similarity of triangles is there in your syllabus now what does similarity means how the triangles or the figures you can guess you can say similar for example look at these circles these all are circles that we know but they are having different radius okay if a circle is having different radius radius so for for example we have made three circles and all have different radius so then circle having different radius means we have three circles with different radius it means they are not congruent congruent circles will be those which are uh, same in shape and which are same in size even okay so let me write one thing for you that in congruency same shape and same size both the things matters but in similarity
सेम शेप ओनली साइज कैन बी डिफरेंट ओके हेयर साइज कैन बी डिफरेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस सेम एग्जाम्पल सर्कल इन साइड द बिगर वन सर्कल दीज टू सर्कल्स आर सिमिलर बट दे आर नॉट कॉन्ग्रेंट बिकॉज कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्कल शुड बी सेम साइज ओके शुड बी ऑफ सेम साइज and their area should be equal but here the area of these two circles can't be equal one is big and one is small so we can say that these are similar they can't be congruent but they are similar so this year we are going to study similarity of triangles instead of congruency of triangles so just leave the congruency part behind so in this chapter based on this we have some theorems also that also we are going to study so these shapes are similar shapes not congruent for example this and this i am talk if i am talking about or this and this they are same but size is different so they are similar not congruent the same way these two are similar not congruent these two are similar but not congruent for congruent size should also be same but one is small and one is big and shape is same then it is similarity fine so based on this can you give me the answer of this 6.1 exercise to take out 6.1 exercise question number 1 All circles are congruent or similar. All circle means circles of different different radius. They will be similar or they are congruent. Similar, yes. Right now only I have explained you that circles. If you are taking with different radius, I know then they can be called as similar, but they can't be called as congruent because otherwise, no. See congruency. Uh, when we have done previous year, then you have done previous year. Then you have studied that congruency. No. means covers each other your two hands can be congruent okay but they are similar also fine so we can say one statement that all congruent shapes are similar is it true or false all congruent shapes are similar yes write it down yeah true because you can say easily that all congruent shapes are similar uh manshi have come late she is saying sir start start from the starting manshi this only we are talking about that if suppose i have a square of i have made here a square suppose of 4 cm side then i have made one more square of Five centimeters side. Okay, suppose they are squares of different different side. Then they are similar, but they are not congruent. Similar figures are those which are same in shape but not in size. Uh, students are asking, we have to do question exercise six point one in fair notebook. Yes, you have to do six point one in fair notebook. Just write the blank the blank. That's it. Easy easy to start with. Yeah. Is it clear, Mansi? You are asking me, sir. What is similarity? Similar triangle. Similar figures are those which are same in shape, but size can be different. In but in congruency, what we have studied that same and same shape and size should be there to prove a figure congruent. Okay, but here size can be different, so we can say these. This is similarity. See, I have written here similarity. These are similar figures. Okay. So I have written this. All congruent shapes are similar. Fine. So all similar shapes can be congruent. All similar shapes can be congruent. See, may or may not. okay if i am saying that these two circles are similar because and these two circles have same radius also then they are similar also and congruent also but if i am saying that these two circles are similar with different radius 
fine with different radius but these two are circles that's why they will be similar to each other obviously but they are not congruent so all will not be congruent fine may or may not means understood no now after this all circles are okay kunal all circles are similar all squares are similar all dash triangles are similar all equilateral triangles are similar to each other okay see this now example of equilateral triangle one is this and the other is this they are equilateral why because they have all the sides equal and they have all the angles 60 60 60 here also 60 60 60 so they are similar so we can say that no that they are similar but they are not congruent so we can say that equilateral triangles are similar to each other so we can we have to write here equilateral then two polygons of the same number of sides two polygon have with the same number of sides take any polygon take two triangles if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional see this point i am going to explain you in detail in exercise 6.3 okay let's wait for this explanation just write down the answer right now equal and proportional will come can you give the examples of pair of similar figures yes obviously we can give uh, you can write a square of 3 cm side and a square of 4 cm side these two figures will be similar to each other okay and two non similar figures yes a square of 3 cm and circle of 2 cm these two are non similar figures i mean to say circle of radius 2 cm and square of side 3 cm so these two will be non similar they are not similar because the shape is not same i hope they, these easy concepts are clear to you those who have come late they can see the video later on the recorded video which i'll send i'll try to upload it today so that you can see on youtube the same video those who have started late you can see the beginning now state whether the following quadrilaterals are similar or not are they similar no they are not similar or they are similar one is rhombus and one is square so we can't say that that they are similar they are not similar to each other so the exercise is over and this exercise was just the base of the chapter so that you can understand what is similarity and what is congruency and what is the difference between the two uh answer for question number 2 for question number 2 you can give different examples of a pair of similar figures any whatever you like to write in similar figures you can write for example i have written here square of side 3 cm and a square of side 4 cm both are similar to each other see both squares are similar fine no square of 3 cm side and square of 4 cm side the other non similar figures can be one square and one circle so square of 3 cm and circle of 2 cm radius are non similar figures like this you can write and if you want me to write it fairly let me write it fairly for you if you have not it is not clear then for first you can write this square of side 3 cm and square of 
side four centimeter and for second you can write uh, like this only square of side two centimeter and a circle of radius three centimeter or two centimeter only you can write okay this way so i hope the exercise is clear with this we will move to the next exercise and before starting the next exercise we need to go through two theorems okay and with the theorems we are going to start the exercise then so today the lecture is very important as we are going we are going to uh, prove the two theorems of this chapter which are very important and comes in exam every year out of these any of the theorem in any of the set so 6.1 is over moving on further to theorem right on the new page theorems to start with and first theorem is 6.1 which is theorem bpt and it is basic proportionality basic proportionality theorem or there is one more name for the theorem you can write thales theorem okay and see uh, the proving very carefully so that it should be clear to you that how we are going to prove this read out the line we have to just learn this line what is written the explanation of the theorem should be in your mind then only you will be able to know the meaning of bpt basic proportionality theorem if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle okay let us draw a triangle first of all so if a line is drawn i am just making a line here okay so it is let a triangle abc where a line this is drawn parallel to this side of a triangle if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides to intersect the other two sides in distinct points okay this is a line here de which is intersecting this side and this side in two points so d is one of the point and e is one of the point which is intersecting ab and ac fine and a line which is drawn with the help of these two points that is line de and this is given already parallel to bc till now what is given in the theorem that d is intersecting ab and e is intersecting ac and with the help of these two points a line is drawn which is de and which is given parallel to bc and they are saying that if the lines are parallel like this in any of the triangle again i am repeating if this line is parallel like this in any of the triangle then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio it means d has divided this line into two parts and e has divided the line into two parts it means it is written here that the two sides are divided in the same ratio it means ad this ad and db ad upon db is equals to ae upon ec this only we need to prove and what is given in the question that de is parallel to bc in the full statement no a question will come like this prove that they'll write prove that they'll and they'll write this the full statement prove that if a line is drawn something like this then 
the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. So D is parallel to BC. This is given, and we have to prove that AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. It means D and E are dividing the other two lines in the same ratio. The ratio are equal. It means they are proportional. Okay, so let us start with some little bit of construction. Now, right construction. We need to construct some of the lines to make it uh, the proving happen. Now, look here. Join BE and CD. So, first of all, let us join BE and CD. Hmm. After this, one more construction. Draw EM perpendicular to AD and DN perpendicular to AE. So I am making DM uh, DN a perpendicular line. And one more perpendicular line from here. As these are perpendicular lines, so here there is a formation of 90-90 degree, and here also there is a formation of 90-90. So it is DN and EM which I have drawn. Now this is the full question in front of you that DE is parallel to BC and we have to prove this and after that this we have constructed now proving starts from here. Can you tell me the area of triangle ADE which is half into base into height. So there is a procedure which we need to follow to prove this all whatever we have written in proving okay so for that you have to use the concept of area of triangle so area of triangle ade look here first of all what we need to prove ad db in ratio in uh, fraction it is given and ae and ec in given fraction they should be equal to each other so we have to concentrate on these parts ad db ae and ec look here first of all ad I am taking AD as the base of ADE. Look into the triangle ADE. I am taking AD as the base of the triangle ADE. If I have taken AD as a base, then what will be the height? EM will be the height. Yes, no. If you are taking like this a base, then height should be on that. Fine. So if ADF took a base, then EM will be the height of the triangle AB, ADE. So on this basis, let us write half into base. Base, I have took AD. And on AD, there is a height that we have made by construction, construction that is EM. Let this be equation one. Again, area of Of triangle A, sorry, this one B D E area of triangle B D E again half into base into height. Now in this triangle B D E, I am taking B D as base, and after that, I want to take a height. What will be the height of this triangle B D E? Can anyone? What will be the height of this triangle BDE? Uh, some are saying, sir, DE. 
uh, no, it is not DE. Let me make this triangle for you, first of all. How this triangle will look like if I'll make it straight on the base, uh, this uh, BD. Look here. I'm making a triangle. This triangle is like this. Okay, I've I've just made a rough figure. Again, let me try the same. Okay, it is like this, and uh, the name is uh, B D E E, and then B and D. If I am taking D B as the base, if I am taking here. Nisha was saying, sir, height will be DE. Now see this, Nisha, height is DE. Yes or no? No. Height should be a perpendicular. Height should be perpendicular. Samreen, you're also saying, Keshav is also saying, sir, DE. No, height should be perpendicular. That is not a perpendicular line. For that, we have to draw like this. The figure is just tilted, no? Uh, Yogi is saying, sir, we have to draw perpendicular. There is no need to draw perpendicular at all. It is already drawn outside of that see this can we say that this is a height of this triangle edb yes no triangles this triangle yeah as a height of this and it is starting from this base so we can say that this e with what we have written here em this em is the height of the triangle edb this em is the height of the triangle edb yes no Vidal is saying, sir, it is not in triangle. Vidal, it is not in triangle, but we can measure, no, this is the height. This is the top point of this triangle and this is the ground uh, line of this triangle, the base of the triangle. So from the top point and the base, this is the height. Okay, and for this reason, we have to take base this. This is also the criteria to write the height. Is it clear to you, Vidal? The top point and the baseline will determine the height of the triangle. If you are taking DB as the base. And if you are taking BE as the base, then this is the height, which you is trying to say, I guess. So we can draw the height. So this is the height if you are taking BE as base. So with different base, no. With different base, we have different heights in the triangle. We have three bases and three different heights. Okay. If we are taking one base, then corresponding to that, we have to take the height. This is the concept. If you are able to see this in the figure that, sir, this is the base, okay, this is the height, then the figure, this theorem is very easy to understand. If to someone it is not clear, tell me again, I'll try to explain. Now, uh, Vital is asking if ED is base, then BD will be the height. No, it is not making 90. Again, we have to draw the figure for that. If ED is base, it can't be BD as height because it should be 90. It is not 90. Okay, this is the concept. Here, no. Triangle is made like this. So, therefore, EM is the height. See, this is the baseline, no? This is the baseline and this is the top line. Uh, just wait for a second. This is the baseline DB and therefore from E, if you want to calculate the height, then EM is the height of this triangle BDE, which is drawn outside of the triangle. Okay, I'm repeating again. The time is very less. How? Okay, in the previous exercise, it took time. Say this again. Mm, uh, let me draw a little neat diagram. I am just making different, different figures. Then, uh, one more time, this. Now see this. If I have made 
this as a triangle and this as a triangle. If I want to take this as base, this as base, then this is the height. Okay, and if I want to take this as base, then height should be on this line. And let us extend the line. And this is the perpendicular which is drawn outside. And this height, no, this height is the height of this triangle. If you are taking this as base. Okay, if I'll draw this triangle like this, no. Just rotate this figure. You'll get to know that. Mm, again, 90 and 90 again. 90. Uh, no, no base. It is not possible to do that. So, is it clear to you, Mamsi? You are asking. This is the outside height with this base. Okay, this is the top point of this triangle and this is the ground line of the triangle. So, height of the triangle is starting from here till here. This is the height of the triangle with base this. If you're taking this base, then this is the height like this. If you're taking this as base, then this is the height. If you're taking this as base, then this is the height. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyone who is still in confusion? Otherwise, I need to do activity on this online. That how to see the base and heights of the triangle. And I have the source to do this activity if you need. But not now. I have five minutes left. Okay, no? Okay. If still there is a doubt, you can just message me, sir. Uh, prepare an activity and explain us how base and heights are interlinked. See this the figure? If you'll see this figure, when I have taken this triangle ADE, I have taken this base AD, and on this I have taken this height. Now if I am taking this BDE, then BD is the base. If BD is the base, no, then height, we have to draw from the opposite side, that is E. And from E, if you will draw the side height, then it will come out of this because we have to make 90 and 90 is possible here from E on this base. From here, no, from here, no, you can't be able to make 90. It is not 90. That's why it is not possible to make height inside. So that's why we have to make 90 and we have to just extend this base so that we can make 90. Fine, no. And base will be taken only from B to D, but height is EM. This is the criteria to write the height. It's okay, you can take time, you can ask whatever you want to ask, but it should be clear. So Vanshika 10th awesome is continuously laughing. I got a report from ma'am that she is continuously laughing and she is not uh, serious. So I should remove her for a week from the class then and should be marked absent. Is it so, Vanshika? You will you came here to laugh? Tell me. Hmm. I need to talk. I have written your name. <clears throat> no, sir. She has replied, no, sir. Okay. After this, height is EM. This is the second case. Now divide equation 1 and equation two if you will divide these two equations then ad ade upon area of triangle bde 
see this LHS, this and this, divide these two, and RHS, this and this, divide these two also. So here, half into AD into EM from here, and from second equation, it is half into BD into EM, where EM and EM cancels out and half and half cancels out. So we can write that area of ADE upon area of triangle BDE is equal to AD upon BD and make this equation number three. And in the same way, no, again, we are going to do this, the same steps. Hmm. Again, see in this triangle ADE. Now, if you have seen that what we need to prove AD upon DB, no, see this AD upon DB or AD upon BD is here. And it was possible to take AD and BD as our base in both the triangles. Yes, no. Now, again, what we want AE and EC. Now, similarly, in the same way, AE is the base of triangle ADE and EC is the base of this triangle CED. Again, the same series of steps we are going to write. Right now, same steps. Again, area of triangle ADE. Again, area of triangle ADE, that is half into base. Base is now AE. I am taking base AE. If I am taking base AE, then DN will be the height. And in the same way, now this triangle DEC or CED, then half into EC into the height. Height will be same, this DN for this triangle also. Fourth and fifth, you can let, or uh, then you can write that divide equation four by equation five so equation four is this and five is this so area of triangle a d e upon area of triangle c e d is equals to half into a e into d n upon half into e c into d n where this and this and this and this cancels out So same we can write here AE e upon EC. Let this be equation number six. Just note it down till here. We'll continue after that. One more time I'll explain you, explain you this theorem on Monday. Okay, as the time is just over. So from here only we'll continue from Monday. So from Monday to this chapter, the main chapter will get start. So be attentive during the lecture, okay? Yeah. Bye. Take care. This is not over. This question is not over. So is not over. On Monday, we'll continue with the same. Just note it down. I'm not going to write this, write this again on Monday. It is already written here. Yeah.